Okay, so we understand what is maintained and non-maintained already and the combination of the two. Let's now proceed to the lecture number four, which is emergency luminaires. So these are the types of the emergency luminaires. Sometimes it is a little uh, decorative. Sometimes it's just like this, a very simple one. So this one is a circular with a little bulb, LED bulb on it. And you can use this one in the corridor. This one is another similar to this one, but this one is a little bulky and it's surface mount. it looks like a surface mounted. And this one is, has two floodlights and it has battery inside. This one is a normal fitting, which can also be used in, in, in emergency lighting. And this one is a bulkhead, which can be used as a normal lighting as well as an emergency. Now, these are the signages, uh, suspended one, and this one is uh, surface mounted. And this one is also suspended, but surface mounted on, uh, on the body. Okay, let's go now to the... Um, I will show you one website where you can see a lot of uh, light fittings that you can get the photometric files. Okay, so let's go now. Okay, so this is the website of Thorn Lighting. I'm not promoting them. I'm just going to use their website as part of the education. So let's go now to these controls and emergency lighting. And you can see that there are indoor lighting controls and then outdoor lighting controls and emergency lighting luminaires. So let's click this one. And then here are the examples of the fitting. And when you click the thumbnail, you can get the photometric file of this. So just click on the dialogs and uh, or you can click this uh, name and then you can see you can you can either have the LDT file, IES file or relax or ULD file. So just click on this one and it will go directly to your uh, software. Okay, so you can see the photometric here of this uh, little LED. It's very good for uh, corridor. Also, sometimes in office lighting. And it's only for what? Okay, let's go for another one. Uh, say for this uh, Voyager Twin Spot. Yes, you can have uh, either, you can see the code E3. It means it is three hours. Uh, non-maintained NM non-maintained you can see the definitions here so it's a durable IP60 ply blah 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 and then you can see the word non-maintained mode possible and it has three hour with manual test and emergency yeah it's also self-contained with non-maintained okay and with three hours so you can immediately see on the code three non-maintained okay and look at the photometric fi uh, the photometric diagram here. It's a little uh, similar to a downlight. So it means it's a little floodlight. And uh, unlike with that, um, the small one that we previously seen, it's a little bat wing type of photometric. And then let's go and check the other one. So this is the simple bulkhead. So you can also check the photometric file here. You can either click the dialax or relax here. And then you can see this uh, uh, bulkhead can be put a sticker and can be used also an exit sign. So for example, this one, uh, MS and then E3. So let's go and check what is this. Oh, there is an ET3. So let's see what is ET3. So that ET3 means it's a three hour, uh, so self-contained emergency luminaries rely on long lasting, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, fixed output with three hour self-test. Yeah, uh, T means a self-test. Uh, yeah, so the, the code is uh, T. With a T, it means self-test. If it doesn't have T, it's a manual test. Okay, so that's the code. And you can have the photometric file, IS file, ULD file here. And look at the photometric here. So it's a bulkhead and it's only 4.2 watt. So that's, uh, these are the examples of, oh, let's go for the uh, exit signs. If it has, if it has also a uh, photometric file. So let's try this uh, suspended one. Yeah, it doesn't have, why is that? Because 
uh, sometimes it is illuminated from outside and sometimes it is illuminated from inside and because the sticker is there so we cannot see the photometric because it's blocking the sticker and let's try this one yeah it doesn't have photometric file okay everything that has a sticker in or outside cannot be calculated because it's uh, the uh, the luminous uh, or the luminous flux it will be blocked by the stickers okay so yeah these are the examples of the fittings that we can use of course there are 60 by 60 or downlight which can also be used as an emergency okay let's go and try and see the example for that so I, I, I'm going to the indoor lighting and I will check some 60 by 60 and then I will see there is a filter here so I'll go to the more filter option and I will open this emergency option if I say ME3 so it has three hours emergency luminaire and these are the fittings that has three hours so for example I'll go for Omega Pro and then I will go here down and you can see I have this fitting and let's see so this is a surface mounted blah 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 DALI also with three hour manual test you can see manual test emergency lighting circuit and it is only having a um, yeah for the lumen uh, for the normal operation it has 3000 lumen but for a total emergency it only has 200 lumen so you can see uh, for some manufacturer they can easily uh, adjust the lumen output for an emergency version this time it's like uh, less than 10 percent of the total lumen output of the luminaire so the normal operation is 3000 lumen and then the emergency version is only 200 lumen okay so this is 60 by 60 but it can also be used as an emergency uh, fitting and then what what do we need to think is it a maintained or non-maintained is, is it is it connected to the central battery system or that so that's another thing that we need to check because if it's connected to the central battery system then the the ballast should be uh ac dc or whatever okay but if it's if it has its own battery inside built in then no problem okay so yeah uh so if you have questions or if we want to uh, check more luminaires about the emergency fitting that us that has been used as a regular fitting as well yeah go and try and check this one so for example for a downlight i just still use the oh look at this one i will choose the central battery emergency lighting uh, okay and this is the only fitting that can be connected to the central battery the chalice and if you can see here what is uh, this fitting so this can be it it will change depending on the type of the ballast because the type of the ballast will dictate if it can be connected to the central battery or it has its own built-in battery inside okay so this can be used for uh, normal operation which has 2000 lumen and for the emergency it has oh because it's central battery system yeah it will be 2000 lumen also okay always remember that if it's connected to the central battery system then you can have the full amount of light as a regular because it's connected to the central battery system unlike what we have before it has its own battery the 60 by 60 that's why the lumen output for the emergency version is lesser okay but if it's for the central battery always remember same lumen output okay so i hope you learned something for today later on we'll discuss about the data sheets how to read the luminaire um yeah if you have questions about the type of the luminaires to be used and how to use it in our calculation later on we will uh, do it again in our hands-on lighting design calculation okay so see you again on the next topic mm -hmm.